Good morning, good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, welcome to a daily dose of joy. Aspen edition, and it is snowing. And I just thought it'd be so fun to catch, I don't know if y'all can see the big snowflakes dropping. Maybe there against the tree, you can kind of see them starting to fall. But we're about to get, oh, you can see them falling in my hair. <laughs> it is a beautiful snowy snowstorm. Mmm, I have missed you guys. I really enjoyed all the family time I had over the holidays. And then thought I would, in February I'd be getting right back after my first hiatus and working in our community for five years without ever taking a break and two years every day on a daily dose of joy. It was it was good time for me to take some time off. And at the same time, I have missed this. I have missed this. I love, I love the microdosing tools. I love practicing happiness. I love the habits of a joyful life. I really believe in this stuff. And so having this opportunity to not do this particular daily practice with y'all helped me deepen my appreciation for it. And also though, it was really great to be able to, I've renovated a house, I've had, a number of trips. I've had a ton of family time. So it was really great to, you know, be able to put energy in other directions too for a temporary period of time. So I'm going to start kicking things back off. It'll be probably slow at first as I let wrap up some other things I've been working on and come back into making more of a central place for a daily dose of joy. I just know I am sending y'all out big lovin's. Ah, and so I thought I'd start with one of my favorite things. And one of the things I use most often and most easily is the Whoopsie Daisy stories. Whoopsie. <laughs> I've actually, I might even share this particular Whoopsie Daisy story. So I have this fantastic Christmas gift from my mom. This winter scarf it has these big uh, fuchsia green puff balls. Well, I also joined a dog park, um, like social club with my sweet puppy. And when I wear this there, all the dogs think I've got handfuls of um, tennis balls. <laughs> so the first time I wore it, I was like, wow, I'm popular with the pooches today. <laughs> and man, they were well behaved enough that they were all like just sitting around me like six dogs. <laughs> Until finally one of them went and like grabbed one of the little balls. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I see why I'm so popular. Whoopsie daisy. And so then I had to stick the ends of the scarf in my pockets to be able to keep, you know, enjoying our playtime at the park. <laughs> so that was good. one good whoopsie daisy story. Let's see. Um, another one was I was talking to a friend, a younger friend, and I said, they were having a rough time with something. I said, you know, we got to always remember to not self-flagellate. And, and she looked like a puppy that goes, <laughs> her little ears cocked and she <laughs> turned her head. She said, mm? and she said, what's self-flagellate? <laughs> Whoopsie daisy, that is not a very popular word. To self-flagellate is to like beat yourself up, you know, not be kind to ourselves, which we all know we can only love other people as much as we love ourselves. That's why we just get up every time we fall down and we're mean to ourselves and just uh, pick ourselves back up and and pay attention and, and make a practice and a habit of being kind. Do a deeper truth, do a slow-mo flow. Um, so that's what I was referring to, like not self-flagellating, but the funny part was when she said, what is self-flagellating? <laughs> she thought it was some kind of self-farting on yourself? I don't know. <laughs> what is self-flagellation? <laughs> oh, but that was a great, a very entertaining whoopsie daisy the two of us had. <laughs> we were like, oh well. But the the one that made me think about doing whoopsie daisy stories today the most 
happened just yesterday. So over here in Aspen, visiting my brother. Love these trips. They're so meaningful. And um, my sister-in-law when I were in the kitchen and it was late at night, we were drinking some tea and I heard this sound. And I was like, oh my God, grab the kids and the dog. Like there's an avalanche. It was this loud rumbling sort of sound. And I looked at her and I was like, what's that? And she just looked at me totally blank faced. She's like, what? I mean, y'all, it was loud. It was loud. And I'm like, she's suddenly gone deaf. Like, does she, does she have no, no flight reflex? Like what's going on? Whoopsie Daisy, they have a very old dishwasher. <laughs> that is very loud when it kicks up and it rattles and slushes and kind of, it felt to me like it was shaking the walls. <laughs> it definitely didn't sound like a dishwasher, but also I don't have a dishwasher. I'm a, I have a, um, my pied de terre where I wash my dishes by hand. So it could have been that, but we both just kept milking it. I mean, she just kept talking about, oh yeah, I have no, no, no flight, no fight or flight reflex. I, I hear the avalanche is coming and I'm like, yeah, well. <laughs> so it was a really funny whoopsie daisy. Like we were bent over with that kind of laughter where you think you might pee yourself. You're laughing so hard. Best moment with my sister-in-law yesterday. Fantastic. So I hope that those little whoopsie daisy stories inspire you to see some embarrassing moment, some awkward encounter, um, and find the humor in it and really laugh at it. I mean, all three of those, I was laughing, like bent over laughing at the, just the, the goofiness of life. And the more that we practice that lightheartedness and practice happiness, the more it weaves itself into our lives, the more it wires itself into our brains. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, boy, I've really enjoyed this time with you guys. I hope y'all have enjoyed seeing a little of the snowfall and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Mwah. May today, surprise and delight us. Yeah, being out here in nature, that has a very, very good track record for surprising and delighting me. And it is right now, like just the delicateness of these snowflakes. <sighs> Helps me tap into a sense of well-being, sense of being connected to something greater than myself. Notice those things that will surprise and delight you today and bask in them. In solidarity, we'll both be doing it. I'll see you soon.